Republican Congressman Paul Brown of Georgia didn't really take to the idea of the Republicans and Democrats sitting together at the State of the Union. He thought it was a Democratic conspiracy. Sitting together being kissy-kissy uh, is just a, another way to try to silence Republicans. Then when people stand up to, to what the Democrats are going to be doing when the, uh, Barack Obama spews out all his venom, then um, if, if they're scattered throughout the Republicans, then it won't be as noticeable as if we're sitting apart. Oh, please. Who wants to be kissy-kissy with Brown? Save it. Uh, Brown's fear of the president's venom spewing worried him so much that he watched from the secure confines of his office. But he was more than happy to spew his own venom while the president was speaking in the form of about 40 tweets, culminating with this keeping it classy moment. Quote, Mr. President, you don't believe in the Constitution. You believe in socialism. That'll show him. I'm amused by the idea that he's addressing it to the president. Like the president's checking Brown's tweets in the middle of the State of the Union, like, oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> By the way, that's not the first time Brown has jumped on the socialist bandwagon. At a town hall meeting in October, he got all worked up after the Centers for Disease Control pointed out that Americans are unhealthy. Centers for Disease Control in Atlanta said people in America are not eating enough fruits and vegetables. And they won't get all the power of the federal government to force you to eat more fruits and vegetables. This is socialism of the highest order. The fruits and vegetables are coming? They're socialist? You never know. They could be around the corner. They could be anywhere. So they're going to take over with their socialism. Well, to be fair, asparagus is a well-known Marxist. Everybody knows that. But it's not all about socialism with Congressman Brown. He once called President Obama a Nazi-like Marxist dictator. I'm not sure how that works. I'm not sure how you become a Marxist and a Nazi at the same time. Wait a minute. Maybe the fruits are the Marxists and the vegetables are the Nazis. And Obama is a banana avocado smoothie. Oh my God, what if it's true?